What's up, Ant City, and welcome back to another episode of Demon Slayer Nuzlocke Training, or I guess Nuzlocke Training is a shorter way to say it, but yeah, welcome back to another episode of Nuzlocke Training, where today we have Oruko Daki today to practice some combos with and see what we can get going with. So, you know, like the usual, uh, these combo guides that I'm looking up are by Mr. Alberonin. That's where the combos are, so I will link him and his channel down in the description below. So that way you guys can go check out more in-depth details because uh the combos i cover in this video are just a few uh like in any in any of these videos i don't actually just copy his entire video and do it verbatim i just kind of go over a few combos that i liked and go with those practice those get those down and then go online into a match and see if we can make them work and win a match potentially but yeah so without further ado let's get right into it so the main thing with Oruka Daki is that he's pretty different from the other characters in this game, at least in terms of the Demon Slayers, because he can place traps down like this. And this is like, I guess, the main thing you want to focus on with him because it's a really good defensive tool. So one of the main combos that I saw in the video was this. So you go into, hold on, is it an up combo? I think it's an up combo. Yeah, okay. So you do the up combo up to that, right? So let me show you. Let me show you. So, so you do your up combo with Oruka Daki. Until, oh, oops, I did a heavy. <laughs> Let me. Okay, so you do your up combo until he stomps the ground and has those bamboo shoots fly out. You see that? So you're going to do your up combo like that until that comes out. And then you place a trap, which is uh, R1 and triangle or RB and Y if you're on Xbox. Um, and then, yeah, you can place a trap that way. So that's like the easiest way just to set up a trap. And then, of course, you can... Uh, there is a way to like push your opponent into it, but I'll get to that here in a second. But yeah, so basically you just do your up combo and that lets you lay down a free trap. So that's pretty good. The The second thing that he was talking about in the video though, that I wanted to go over was, so if you do your up combo, then you go into the trap, you actually want to run and jump because you get your momentum, which lets you of course go behind your opponent. And then from there, you can actually do like a water wheel or something like that and push them into the trap for the, some damage. So that's a really good way to get a trap and do damage. Uh, but like I said, a lot of his combos are really not even combos. It's mostly just setting like ways to set up your trap. So um, there, there is another way I want to go over in a bit. But for for now, I want to just show how the... Oh, hold on. We're, not, we're too close to that side of that. Okay. For now, I just want to show how the, um, how the run jump thing works. So you run, jump behind them. You can even place another trap here if you wanted. But then you water wheel them. And you can, or just like, you know, combo them just to push them into, uh, into the trap. And as you saw with the water wheel, it's actually a yellow combo. So you can actually go for a while with that, right? Uh, another thing he was saying though, is you don't even have to do the run jump. If you don't want to, you can, so you can do it this way. Oh, I did a heavy again. So if you don't want to do the sprint in the jump, you can just place it. You can place multiple traps down if you want. You can even do three in one spot and then run jump over them. Uh, over your opponent which by run jump what i mean is you just press circle and then when you get close you just press x which your momentum will carry you over your opponent you don't actually have to push any buttons to like you don't have to like hold forward or whatever to get over them you just press x and your momentum carries you but you don't want to run into them so you kind of want to do it not too early but early enough so you don't run into them but um yeah so then i'm gonna i did heavy again i keep doing that so okay so remember up combo into the traps I'm going to do two, and then I'm going to run, jump over him, see? And then I can water wheel him. Obviously, that's not, like, completely reliable because they can block. Like, they could just turn around and block. Like, if you just hit block twice, it'll just face... Or not even twice. You just hit it once, you face your opponent. But you can at least get that trap down over there to, like, pressure them a bit. Like, so they have to be on the lookout for it. And then another way to do a combo that he showed, which is actually something I figured out on my own during my i think i did it during the nuz well i tried to do it i should say during the nuzlocke challenge a few times is you can actually so when you press triangle normally or y orukadaki does two waterfall basins but if you cancel the first one you can actually just start placing traps and you see that that immediately hit him in a combo so that's a good that's another good way to place down traps in my opinion and that is something he actually showed up i think you can even do it after two if you'd like actually no oh i had no meter that's why uh but i think you could do it after two waterfall basins if you want yeah, then that will keep it from hitting right away. So I think this is actually what he showed in the video, the two waterfall basins. And then you can place a trap like that. Uh, but personally, I like to do it after the first waterfall basin, just because then you can just kind of combo off of it, you know? You just kind of get... And I think, like, you can get some pretty decent damage, too. Like, see, that that's actually something I came up with myself, so I'm a little proud of that. Um, but yeah, so 
you can do some pretty good damage there. But that was really the main things he showed. But I'll go over a few more things. Okay, so I want to correct myself here. I, he actually didn't do it after two waterfalls for the trap combo. So what he did was after a full attack string. So Arukadaki kind of has two heavy swings, it seems like. So you see you have this fourth hit or the fifth hit, which is like that little slash was kind of heavy. But you want to do it after the overhead one. So this one right here, after that hit right there at the end. So it's after six. So you do that into the waterfall into you can place like multiple traps because they're down for a while so you can even place traps like that and just kind of keep yourself defended which i think is also something really important to keep in mind uh with him that uh you can get a heavy knockdown and then again you could uh you could just keep yourself defended because they don't really have anywhere to go unless they try to like go around them or whatever but then you can kind you can kind of control and restrict their movement with the traps which is really good uh, and then you could even try to do like a run jump or something and then water wheel behind them just because there's that restricted so Let me show you so you could do like this, right? So you do your six hits do this and then place down your three traps to trap them in and then they can't really move So you could just run jump and then go behind them uh, and, and at least will restrict their movement and then look he's <laughs> He's like trapped right wow. He actually like, you barely fit between those traps. That was funny, but yeah, um I think that's mostly, I think there is one more combo I wanted to talk about that he does in the video. So let me show that off. Okay, so one last combo he showed off that I wanted to also show off is you could do this. So you do one, two, three, trap. Then you chase them up, do two hits, and then you do your full combo string here. And then you can go into the two waterfall basins. So that's another way to do a good little combo. Uh, you can do it that way, but honestly, I would, I personally prefer to do the one into the trap, which it's kind of a similar combo, right? But it just does, a, I think mine does like probably around the same damage, yeah? So it's just another option. Uh, I'm probably going to stick to my combo, though, just because I actually know how to do it properly. So, yeah. And I think, it, actually, yeah, if I did it early enough, it does a little more damage. Uh, you will miss that second waterfall base in those things. So, yeah, but that's pretty much uh, everything with him. There's not really way too much about him. It's because he kind of plays weird and you need to set up all these traps. So, yeah. And again, if people are like, you know, in the comments, I haven't, obviously, this is all being pre-recorded before I actually upload any of the videos. So I do want to say that there are probably other videos and stuff I could look up and that go even more in depth with Arukadaki or any of the characters. But right now, I just want to learn like some basic stuff. Uh, which actually has been helping me a lot because I do I do know at least how to play the game in a sense I just didn't really know any combos or anything and they have been helping me So I at least want to learn the basics and then from there. I'll just kind of grow slowly into like my own style, you know But I want to learn the basics right now So that's why we're just doing like basic combos and I haven't looked into like a million different videos But yeah, so for now I'm gonna practice some of these combos a little bit more and then we're gonna hop into an online match So yeah all right, so we're here in an online match now against someone who has like 500 wins or something like that. So I think I might have fought this person off camera when I was practicing more Nezuko. Because um, if you saw the last video, if you noticed, my combo wasn't working on camera <laughs> for Nezuko. So I was like, uh, I'm going to practice this a little bit more off camera to see if it is working. And yeah, it does work. The combo isn't just broken online. I was just doing it wrong in the video. I guess I was being too slow. And I think I fought this guy. The only reason I'm saying that, though, is because he also used Susamaru. So I might just be assuming. But I'm pretty sure this is the same guy. I'm not sure. And I completely messed up that combo that I was supposed to do with Arukadaki. Hold on. Let's uh, try to correct that. Again, Arukadaki is kind of a weird character to play, but he can be fun. Oh, move. Oh, I didn't even need to move. Oh, Tanjiro, let's go. Oh, my God. I got behind her. All right, let's do the up combo. Oh, I messed up. All right. I'm going to try to do that waterfall basin combo to get three traps down. I'm going to try it. The only problem is the traps don't really work well with um, Susamaru because she's a... Oh, no, I messed it up because she's a ranged character. <laughs> so, like, uh, setting up the traps doesn't really matter for her because she's not going to sprint at me very often. So, this is kind of one of uh, Urukadaki's bigger weaknesses is fighting a Susamaru. Let's do the... Oh, okay. We just got her. Oh, got me. Dodge him. Oh, she almost went right into the trap. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. They just, okay. <laughs> they just ran into the trap. See, those traps are very useful when you set them up. I don't know why he just went for it, but maybe he thought it was going to disappear. I don't know. But this guy just went for the for the trap. Like, okay. <laughs> he was like, I could take this. Real. That was real demon, like, uh, mindset. He was like, I could just take this this trap here. And, like, no, he just <laughs> got it. Oh, dodge. Yeah, the one thing with Susamaru that I have learned to deal with her is you literally just need to sidestep. I don't know. 
I think I did do it off camera. I don't know if I fought a Susamaru on camera yet. But just a pro tip. We're not a pro. I'm not a pro. A noob tip <laughs> is uh, just use the sidestep, which is you just hold the stick and press circle or B if you're on Xbox. And you can just avoid <laughs> her, um, her like her uh, tamaris and all that. It's like it's like it's really simple. <laughs> you just dodge her and it works a lot. Obviously, I keep getting hit by stuff still, and like I haven't even hit her once yet. But it is a good way to avoid her stuff. It's just the problem with her. It's like you get hit once and it just hurts. <laughs> oh, get her! Let's go. All right, let's do that overhead into this into the trap. Let's place down the one here. <laughs> I I think I messed it up again. Did she just destroy? You could destroy the traps? I did not know that. Okay. That's kind of wild. I didn't know you could just break them. She just split it open. Oh, I almost, I've never seen her throw. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I didn't know she just tosses you in the air and kicks you. I almost said I'm an old man. I can't be dealing with that, but I'm actually young, Urukadaki. But, um, yeah, I'd never seen her throw before. That's kind of funny. I literally I didn't know she just picked you up and used, your, used you as her ball. I did not know that. A little bit of lag there. That's fine, though. Oh, we can get her if I was facing the other way. God dang it. I couldn't cancel my combo. Oh, I didn't mean to jump. Yeah, jumping can be dangerous in this game, I gotta tell you. I didn't mean to do that. I did it too early again. This heavy? Oh, that was nice. She went right over me. But um, I, I would say the, the combos are, like, the traps are definitely working <laughs> uh, when I'm setting them up. The problem is, like, Susamaru is just hard for Urukadaki to fight because he does not have much... Other than the traps, but Tamari or Tamari Susamaru is a ranged character, so like the traps don't matter as much. You know, you, like you don't get an opening as often. Ooh, that was a nice cancel. Gotta respect it. But yeah, use the, use those side steps in fighting um, Susamaru. Definitely recommend. She just killed me with the grab again. My back. Oh, wait, I'm alive actually. Never mind. <laughs> she killed me immediately. Yeah, but I do think the combos do. I I keep messing them up though. But I think that they are actually pretty good if you're an Orokodaki player. I just think... Oh, my God. That was beautiful. Do this. I messed it up. I got it with the second one, though. That was pretty cool. Hey, Tanjiro, get her. Thank you, Tanjiro. Jeez. Oh, she almost... I thought she was going to roll into me. That would have been perfect. Dodger! Oh, come on. I could have dodged. But yeah, I do think these combos are actually really good. I just need to definitely play more Orokodaki to get better at him. But honestly, Orokodaki is probably not a character I'm going to use very much. But... Again, this is all to practice for a Nuzlocke challenge again, so I gotta get good. <laughs> you know, I gotta at least know how to use them. So I don't lose my lives. Okay, get her. And then let's try to do the down combo into this, into the traps. It's gonna, you know. <laughs> but you see, this is the problem. She She's ranged, so she's, she's not gonna care that I placed all these traps down. She's not gonna come after me. Alright, let's back up, back up. Oh, she just ran over the trap. She, it just didn't matter to her. Okay. Oh, block, block, block. Okay, we can get her. Let's go. We can get the kill. We can get the kill. That's what we want. Secure the kill. Just do a water wheel. <laughs> Let's go. So, yeah. Yeah, that, that's the thing with Urukadaki, though. He, You can do some normal combos with him if you want to. They're just not very optimal because his main thing is the traps. Like, that's what he's mostly about. Placing traps down. Oh, she got me when I was trying to place a trap. Yeah, and the, the, the other thing with uh, Susamaru is just doing a perfect block just does not work on her. Because she um, she has the range, right? So she's, she's on the trap. Move! <laughs> she was standing on the trap, so I couldn't place them. Am I doing... I think I'm doing that combo wrong. I just forget how it works. And I wasted all my meter doing that. That's bad. Get her. Oh my god, I barely saved that. I need a... You know what? You know, I know what, I know what needs to happen here. We can still salvage this. Okay, dodge. But yeah, I feel like now that I have actual combo roots, like as I'm learning each character, now that I actually have combo roots and I'm knowing a little bit more of what I should be doing, I feel more confident playing the character, I can say. And like, I feel like I mess up less because of it. All right, let's do this into the ult. And I think that's DG. Yeah, <laughs> let's go. We got the level three. So we did mess up those combos a few times, but overall, we were able to set up traps and the first round even killed her with the trap. But let's go. Yeah, you're too indecisive. You need to figure out if you're going to sprint at me, hit my trap, or use your range, but you didn't decide, so goodbye, you're getting waterfall, basin. Oh, this is a tsunami basin, what are you talking about? But yeah, so we're going to end it off there, so thank y'all for watching, and wow, I just realized, didn't this guy have like 500 wins? I might need to hit up ranked with these combos that I'm learning, ooh, okay, anyways. Um, thank y'all for watching, hope y'all enjoyed, if you did, make sure you slap that like button and that subscribe button, 
Uh, and if you like this video that much, make sure you share it around to your grandma, your grandpa, your manager, your coworkers, wherever you want to share it to. And if you really, really like this video that much, you might consider putting it down into your favorites playlist. And I forgot to mention it last video. But if you are also doing the Nuzlocke challenge currently, like you're trying it out for yourself, make sure you put hashtag Demon Slayer Nuzlocke in your title or description or wherever you want to put it. So that way I can see it because I'm actually interested to see if other people are going to take this challenge on. But yeah, till next time though, I'll see you all later and peace. Have a go. <coughs> oh my bad. Okay, let me redo that. And peace. Oh my voice crack. Hold on. And peace. Have a good day or night, y'all.